Evolve beyond speed. The new OnePlus tagline clues us in into what it wants to be in 2022 and beyond. Not just a phone that's powerful and snappy or with super fast charging, but a phone that's smarter and packed with tons of features. But does the just launched OnePlus 10T live up to these promises? Or is the OnePlus 10 Pro a better deal? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. And over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. And most importantly, I help you find the right gadget to match your needs. And in this video, we'll take a look at the new OnePlus 10T. And I'll give you five reasons why I think it could be your next phone. I'm not going to save the best for last. I'm going to start with it. One of the most impressive things about the OnePlus 10T is super fast charging. The phone supports a 160 watt Super VOOC Endurance Edition, which OnePlus claims can get you from zero to 100% in 19 minutes. There's a caveat though. This only works in countries where the voltage coming out of a power socket is 220 volts. Here in the US where we get 110 volts, it's going to be a teeny tiny bit slower. And I use slower in air quotes because that's still a lot. For context, the iPhone charges at 21 watts, and in our Gadget Match charge test, we found that the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra charges at around 27 watts. So 125 watts charging is still leaps and bounds faster than its competition. In my tests, using the bundled 160 watt Super VOOC charger here in the US with a 110 volt socket, I was able to get 100% in 30 minutes which is still insanely fast in my book. This is achieved by using a 4,800 milliamp hour dual cell battery. Because it has two cells instead of one, each cell can be charged at the same time. That coupled with higher currents and the battery's heat reducing qualities explains these faster charging speeds. A chip is also built into the phone to intelligently manage the charging process to charge your phone efficiently and safely. Right, so before we go any further, I think it's important to do a quick recap on pricing. The top of the line OnePlus 10 Pro starts at $899 and goes up to $969, while the OnePlus 10T starts at $649 and goes up to $749. I thought that was important to point out because this phone, while cheaper, has better specs and that's another reason why you should consider it. For example, the 10T has the just released Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 system on a chip, which promises higher CPU clock speeds, improved GPU performance, and better battery life versus Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which is on the OnePlus 10 Pro. Both phones offer up to 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 storage and support fast LPDDR5 RAM, but the OnePlus 10T offers a model with 16 gigabytes of RAM, while the most you can get on the OnePlus 10 Pro is 12. So basically, for $220 less, you actually get four gigabytes of RAM more. Of course, there are other differences that justify the OnePlus 10 Pro's price tag, things like a bigger battery, support for wireless charging, and better cameras. But overall, I feel like the OnePlus 10T offers better value, especially if high-end specs are your priority. Another thing worth talking about is the OnePlus 10T's design. I personally love that OnePlus is sticking to the same design ID as the 10 Pro, with the camera module flushed against the top left. The camera bump doesn't have that glossy finish and frame that gives the 10 Pro a premium accent, and the way the module protrudes gently from its back shell is reminiscent of the Oppo Find X5 Pro. And while we're comparing, notice here on the side, there is no Hasselblad logo. There's no mute switch, and up front, the glass isn't curved. 
That said, it's a solid design. At 6.7 inches, the phone is relatively large, but it isn't chunky. I really enjoy the texture on this Moonstone black model. The back is glass, but it doesn't feel like it. It's matte and textured, inspired by the texture of basalt rock. I really do like how it feels in the hands, and how it also flickers when hit by the light. It's also pretty smudge resistant. But that's for the black model, though. If you get the jade green model, you get a more smooth, ceramic-like satin finish. Earlier, I pointed out how the OnePlus 10T doesn't have the Hasselblad logo, which means all the benefits in terms of photography that you get from the Oppo and OnePlus partnership with Hasselblad you don't get it on this phone. However, that's not to say that the phone doesn't have great cameras. You'll see the results later in our camera samples, but first, let's break down its triple camera system. Wide, 50 megapixel Sony IMX766 sensor with OIS. Ultra wide, 8 megapixels with a 119 degree field of view. And last, a dedicated 2 megapixel macro camera. And with that out of the way, let's peruse some samples, shall we? As you can see, be it during the day or at night, the OnePlus 10T takes great photos. Now we also took these comparison photos versus the OnePlus 10 Pro. And it's pretty clear that this pricier phone has the better camera system. But I will argue that in everyday use cases, you'll be perfectly fine with this cheaper model. And last but not least, we come to our fifth reason. And I now know why they saved the best for last because this particular reason isn't as sexy as reason number one. But hear me out. Connectivity is more than just whether your phone supports 5G. Sure, that's very important, but it's also about connectivity to your Bluetooth headphones or to your Wi-Fi. The OnePlus 10T has a 360 degree antenna system. Basically, that means there are 15 antennas spread out around the device. So whether you're playing a game and holding your phone like this, or texting with two hands like this, or talking on the phone like this, you can be guaranteed that your phone's antennas are not going to be covered by your hands. On top of that, OnePlus has a new feature called AMP Connect, which reduces interferences between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth when those technologies are used together. <laughs> what does this mean to you? It basically means better connectivity to the internet and to all your other devices or accessories all the time. I did promise five reasons, but I wanted to leave you with one more, and it's one that's more intangible. OnePlus has always been a thoughtful company, and you can see that in all the customizations on Oxygen OS, or how it always releases a line of cases with its new phones, like this retro glacier mat case for the OnePlus 10T, alongside a host of accessories like these earbuds. Slowly but surely, they're building their own ecosystem. Heck, today they even announced their own Super VOOC fast charger for your car. And perhaps more importantly, next to Google, they have one of the best track records for pushing out quick OS updates. OnePlus guarantees three years of OS updates, which in the Android space is pretty impressive. So is the OnePlus 10T your gadget match? While not the most affordable Android smartphone that I recommend today, that honor goes to the Google Pixel 6a, I will still give the OnePlus 10T the gadget match seal of approval. Starting at 649 US, it's in a unique position because it offers top-notch specs and backs it up with a well-thought-out design and great features. My hot take? In the $900 range, there are better phones than the OnePlus 10 Pro, but in the $650 price range, the OnePlus 10T 
is very competitive. And that was our OnePlus 10T review. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, you know the drill folks, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff and for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.